Okay, so I might sound a little funny. I am getting over a flu. Um, I haven't uh, recorded for a few days, but I'll tell you this much. Hello, welcome to part two. Um, since I was done filming part one, I realized that while I gave the right instructions verbally, I worked my work wrong and this turned out like a three. So I had to unravel like five rows, fix it, work my way all the way back up. Um, I worked my two rows of plain, three rows of bead, two rows of plain. Okay. I also split one of my nails right there, caught the flu. So it's been that kind of a, you know, last like four days. But I'm feeling better. I sound like poopy, but I actually feel loads better. So here we go. Row 23 is going to be really, really easy. I have it marked off right here. And here is the instructions, the written instructions. Okay, here we go. Chain one, I've already joined with a slip stitch. And going back into that first stitch, we're going to work 12 plain. So one, two, three, four, five. I'll be right back. So after we work our 12, which there we go, you work one bead. Now we will disregard that portion of our instructions for the rest of this round. Now we're going to work 23 stitches, 23 plain in a row, and then one bead. Now, whenever I worked this one, I actually ended with 11, 11 plain, and that equaled 23 between here and here. So we start off with 12, we end with 11, and that equals 23. And as you can see, we will have one bead, one bead separated by 23 plain. Okay? So that is the repeat for this round. And I will be right back when I get back around to the beginning. Okay? Okay, and I did end with 11 plain before I joined with a slip stitch and I have already chained one so let's move on to round 24 now here's how round 24 looks <clears throat> we're going to start with uh, four plain and then we're not going to repeat that again okay so here we go, right back into the joining stitch. It's always the hardest stitch for me to get into with this little thread. Here we go. One, two, three, and four. Now we're gonna work one bead in the next stitch. Okay, and then we're going to work six plain. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're going to work three bead, and you can see we have a bead right there. So we're going to create a little diamond like this. So now we work three bead in a row. One, two, and three. Okay, and <clears throat> excuse me, no, I had to cough. Okay, now we're going to work six plain. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're going to work one bead. Nope. There we go. 
Okay, seven plain in a row. So now the part that we're working is this part between the two diamonds. So we work six plain when we go from a diamond to a floor de lis. Again, six from the floor de lis to the diamond, but when we're working between the two diamonds, so from one diamond to the next, we work seven. So that's what we're gonna be doing now is working the seven. There we go. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. After that, we work one bead. And when we work just the one bead, we are creating a little diamond. Okay, now we're going to work six plain and three bead. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we've worked our way over to the next diamond we're gonna build up on. So we're creating new diamonds here, but we're building on the start of the diamonds that we started in the last round. So now we're gonna work three in a row, three bead, Okay, so one, two, and three. And then we just repeat. We're going to repeat from the six plane. So it, disregard this. From the six plane, three bead, six plane, one bead, seven plain, one bead, six plain, three bead, then jump back up to six plain again. Okay. In fact, what I will do is do a little half mark off right here. There we go. We're working from here to here. That's, that's our repeat. Okay. And again, I will show you the graph. So here is that repeat and if I'll get it real close so you can count the squares on your screen if that is easier for you okay I will be back when I get all the way back around to the beginning okay finished this row and I ended with one two three plain so the three plus the four we started off with equals seven so there will be seven between these two beads okay Let's move on to row 25. And here is how 25 looks. And I'll hold that up real close for you so that you can count the squares. Some people just find that to be so much easier. Okay, so we're going to start with three single crochet, um, three plain, and then we're going to go from there and we will determine what our repeat is. Okay, three plain. I should just start off with just like working the first stitch it's so difficult for me to see it sometimes under the camera okay that's one two and three now we're going to work three bead so now we're going to turn these little dots here into the start of diamonds and we're going to finish these diamonds here so let's do three bead. Wouldn't that be funny if three bead was just sliding that down and boom, no. <laughs> okay, one, two. This is turning out so stinking pretty. I'm addicted to these, you guys. So get ready, because we're gonna make more of these and I'm gonna leave a link down below. I found a multi-pack of the clasps and you get all the different sizes. And it was extremely reasonable. I think it was like $11 for like seven of them. It was like very reasonably priced. Okay, 
Now that was our three bead. Now we work two, here we go. We're gonna work two plain, one and two, two bead. Get these beads down here. One and two. Then we work one plane. And three bead. Is that right? We might be working the bottom of one of the floor. Yeah, we are. We're working the bottom of one of the floor de lis. So yes, three bead. And three. Okay, one plane. Two bead. One. Come on. Two. Uh oh. I'll be right back. I've got to give myself some slack. As you can see here, I've completely run out of slack. So I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so we have our two bead. Now we're going to work two plain. One and two. Try that again, two. Okay, three bead. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Now this is our diamond that we are building up. One. Two and three. Okay. And then five plain. One, two, three, four, and five three bead and two plain. Okay. Why can't I get this? <laughs> One, two, and three. Two plain. Okay, and our repeat is going to be two plain, two bead. All right, I think this is our repeat right here. I think we're going to disregard all of this. That looks terrible. I believe we are going to disregard this and starting here will be our repeat. So we'll end with two single crochet, then we'll work two bead, one single crochet. So let's see if that works out. We'll test that theory really quick. Okay, so we just ended with two plain. Now we will work two bead. Did we do that before? Yes, we did. Okay. Okay, one and two. Yes, this is going to work out. Then our one plane. Now we're going to build up on the fleur, fleur de lis. So we will work three bead over the three bead of the previous row. One Sorry, guys. Two and three. Okay, so that will work out. 
So then we just worked that. Then you'll work your one single, two bead, two single, three bead, five single, three bead, two single, two bead. So ignore this. I'll hold this up so you can write it down if you want to. And one more time, here is that graph. And here is what we are currently working on right here. The three bead over the three bead of the previous round. The two, then the one plane, three, one plane, two. So this is what we are working on now. Okay, so I will be back for round 26. Okay, so let's, I all done with round 25, joined with a slip stitch, chained one. Let's go ahead and start with round 26. Here we go. There is round 26 for you. Okay, we're going to start with four plain. Okay, one, two, three, and four. Your fourth one should land right behind a bead. Let me get some beads. Now we're going to work one bead. This will complete the little diamond. Okay, we're going to work two plain. One, and two. Four bead. And one, that's not right. I could do that one a little bit cleaner. One, two, three, and four. One plane. Uh, one bead. Okay, one plain and four bead. One plain, four bead. One, two, three, and four. Why do I feel like this is off? Let me look. That seems, yeah, maybe it's all right. Okay, two plain, one bead, seven plain. Okay, two plain, one, two, one bead, and then seven plain. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then we do, we're coming up to our repeat now. Okay, we're going to work one bead and two plain. So the one bead will complete this little diamond here. Now we work two plain. One and two. And here is the repeat. We just worked the two plain right here. Now we're going to start back at the four bead again. I already blocked off the section we're not going to repeat. So we're going to 
we just worked our two plane, then we work four bead and all the way across to here, and then we start back at four bead again. So I will hold that up for you. Okay, and here is the graph. Okay, I will be back when we are ready for round 27. Okay, so the nails are gone with that big crack going down that one. I was too afraid moisture would get in there and cause an issue. So I do have some more nails coming from Golden 30 Nails. So those will be here in a few days. So in the meantime, we bear. We bear nailing it. Okay, now let's start on row 26. We're going to start with one bead stitch I've already joined with a slip stitch and chained one. There we go. We're going to start with one bead stitch. There's my chain one. I didn't quite have it. Okay. Oh, it's a little, little bit more difficult for me to grab at my beads without my long claws. Okay. Now we're going to work six plain and, well, it looks like the repeat on this one will be a little bit basic for us. Six plain followed by all of this, and then six plain again, I think. Or do we ignore this first six plain? That may be the way of it. All right, let's work our way over to our repeat, whatever it may be. We're going to start with six plain, and I will just, oh, and I can show you this. Here's where we're at now, row 26, right there. Okay. So we're going to work our six plain. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're gonna work, let's see how many stitches. One, two, three, oh no, no, we're not doing every other, okay. So we're gonna have, this one's a little bit more meticulous. So one bead, one plain. Okay, let me get some beads down here. One bead, one plain. Oops. Okay, two bead, one plain. One. Two, that's two bead and one plain. Okay, now we're going to work one bead, one plain, one bead, one plain, we're going to work two bead, one plain, one, Two bead, one plain. Okay, two bead, one plain, one bead, six plain. One bead, and then six plain. One, oh no, try that again, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're going to work one bead, one 
and six plain again. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so I do think we are going to disregard the first group of six. So we will disregard that. And now our, our repeat is gonna start from here. So our repeat will start with a bead, it will end with a bead, ultimately repeating this again. We do have that over there. So that is your repeat. We just worked these. Now we're gonna work all these steps right here over and over again until we've completed the round, okay? All right, so I will be back at the end of this round and when we're ready to start round 28. Here we go. Oh, I lost some stitches. Well, there we go. Guess I'll have to rework those. So I'll be back whenever we're ready to work round 28, but that is our repeat. Okay. Okay, so this is the end of row 27. There we go. I ended with six plain to the little bead there. I joined with a slip stitch and chained one. Okay, moving right along. Now we're going to Let's start with two bead and work our way over to our increase, or <laughs> to our increase. Let's start with two bead and work our way over to our repeat. Okay. There is one and there we go, two. Okay, two bead. Now we're going to work eight plain. So I will do that off camera real quick. Two, I'll be right back. Okay, eight plain. Now we're going to work one bead. Okay, one plain and one bead. One plain one bead okay one plain one bead eight plain so one plain one bead and then eight plain one two i'm going to finish the rest of those off camera real quick okay eight plain worked now we're going to work three bead and then eight plain. So we're making another little diamond here or a little star, whatever it's meant to be. Looks like a little diamond to me. One, two, and three. Oh, I didn't get my bead. It popped right back up. Here we go. And then eight plain again. Now let's see, what is the repeat going to be? Okay, yes. So we will disregard the first, there we go, the first section of eight singles. And our repeat is ending here. This is what we're working on now, the eight plane. Oops, there we go. So when you're done with the eight plane, just jump right back here and start working all of this again. Okay, so I will hold that up for you. We are right, you know, it might help. Oh, I think that'll be easier for you to be able to see. So our repeat ends here with eight plain and it starts with one bead and you just work following that over and over again. Let me get my finger out of your way. Okay, and here is the graph. 
Okay, so I will be back when we are ready for round 29. Okay, 28th row is almost done. I wanted to finish this row with you. So we started off, so we started off with our two beads. Now we're going to end with just one bead to complete the three like we had been doing all along, like right here. So here we go. We end with one bead. Like it doesn't say to do that in the pattern, but I think it's just a given the way the pattern is worked out. Oh, and I worked eight plain before that. Okay. I had to join off camera, like join with a slip stitch because I have to get it right up under my eyes so I can see it well enough. All right, now we are ready for row 29 and that's gonna start with one bead stitch, which makes sense because that's gonna complete the little diamond. So let's right back into our joining stitch. This one's always the trickiest one for me to see. Ow, that hurt, like stabbed my finger. There we go. <laughs> okay, we're gonna work eight single or eight plain, sorry. See, yeah, that looks all right. One and two, I'll be right back. I'm gonna work these eight off camera real quick. Okay, eight plain worked. Now we're going to work seven bead and then eight plain. This is gonna actually be a fairly simple repeat, not too much involved. Okay, seven. What am I doing here? I guess I need to. Okay, seven bead and then eight plain. So that's one. Two. I'll be right back. I'm going to finish the rest of these off camera. Okay. Okay. There is seven bead, then eight plain. One and two. I'll work the rest of these off camera too. I'll be right back. Okay. And that put us at being over the first bead. So we're going to complete this little diamond here, I imagine. Yes, one bead. And then, whoa, lost my footing there. There we go. Now it wants us to work eight plain and seven bead again. So let's look at our repeat. I would say our repeat It's going to be yes. So eight plain. I'm sorry, eight plain, seven bead, eight plain, one bead, eight plain, seven bead. And here is how that looks on the graph. Okay, and there you go. All right, that is your repeat from here to here, back to here. Okay, I will be back when we are ready for round 30. Okay. So the end of row 29, there we go. I've already joined with a slip stitch and chained one. Now for the 30th row, we're gonna start with nine plain and I will show you the instructions in just a moment. But let's get these first ones out of the way since they aren't gonna be a part of our repeat. 
don't know if I'm going into the... No, I surely wasn't. Okay, there we go. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, sorry, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, now it wants us to work seven bead, 17 plain, seven bead. And that is our repeat. And here is what it looks like on the graph. Just like that. Okay, so there it is one more time for you. So now we're just going to work seven beads over the seven beads of the previous round, then 17 plain and seven bead over and over. And you know what? Let me work these seven beads and let's take a look at our progress so far. Four, five, six, and seven. Okay. Just lock that in. Let's get a good look at our progress. So here's what we're working on right now. Here's what we have completed so far. I really like it. Oh man, this is so fun. Ooh, I could get so addicted to doing this beadwork. Wow. So let's look at this. This is what we are working toward right now. Right at the bold line is the, the row we're currently working on. And then we're going to work this whole upper portion. So not bad. We're kind of moving right along here. Okay, I like it. Oh, I do like it. It feels really neat in the hands too. I definitely feel like I have way more than enough beads. So I bought three bunches of the beads. You may only need two. I'm kind of glad I got three so I have enough to do maybe another small project if I come across one. Who am I kidding? I have come across some. Look how pretty that looks. Here's the portion we're currently working on right here. Yeah, that just looks really pretty. Oh, I am pleased. Okay, so let's work round 30, seven, 17, and seven, and come on back whenever you're ready for round 31, and that's going to be when we start working the upper portion. Okay. Let's work round 31 now. Round 31, we're going to start with five plain. And let me show you that on the grid, the graph right here. Okay, we're going to start with five plain. And then we'll work our way over to the repeat. All right. One, two, three, four, and five. We're going to work three bead. Okay, let's get some beads down here.
One, two, three, two plane, one and two. Okay, five bead. Okay, one, two, three, Four and five. Let me make sure this is right. Mm, I feel like that's off. And I missed one. Why did I miss one? I feel like that's off, though. Is that right? Yeah, I think that's right. Okay. I was just taking a quick peek at the graph. Seems like it's right. I missed one whole bead, too. I'll be right back. Okay. There we go. Five in a row. Now we're going to work two plain. One. And two. And three bead and nine plain. One, two, three, nine plain. I'll work those really quick off camera. That's two. I'll be right back. Then we work three bead. And so here's our repeat. We're not going to work these three bead anymore. So we're gonna work these three bead. This is where we're at right now, three bead. Then we're gonna jump up and work our two plane, five bead, two plane, three bead, nine plane, three bead, then jump back up to here again, okay? So that is our repeat. This is where we're at now. This is where the repeat starts, okay? So that is it, that's row 31. I will be back when we are ready to work row round, forgive me, round 32. Be right back. Okay, that is the end of round 31. I have joined, I've worked my last four single crochet. When you blend that with the five we started off with, that makes nine. So I joined with a slip stitch, chained one, now we're going to start with one bead stitch. There we go. Let's get some beads down here. Okay, one bead. Now we're going to work three plain. One. two, and three. Now let's work three bead, two plain, two bead. Okay, three bead, one, two, and three. Then two plain and two bead. Okay, one and two. And then two beads. One and two.
Okay, now we're going to work one plane, one bead, one plane. So one plane, one bead, and one plane. Hmm, I hope that's right. Yeah, okay, I think that's going to be right. So that was one plane, one bead, one plane, two bead. Okay, one and two. Okay, two plane, three bead. One two three bead one two and three. Okay, then it's going to be three plain, one bead, three plain. Then we start our repeat. Three plain, okay. So here we go. One, two, and three. One bead. And then three plain. One, two, and three. And now let's look at our repeat. Let's take a quick peek at our work. There we go. Okay, so here is the repeat. We just finished right here, the three plane. Now we're going to jump up and start right here and work the three bead and carry on to this. Okay, so there you go. If you want to pause the screen there. And here is the graph. Okay, I will be back when we are ready for round 33. Okay, let's move on to row 33 now. Let's take a quick peek at our work. Let's just do that real quick. Oh, this is really coming together. This feels lovely in the hand, too. Oh, I can't wait. Cannot wait till it's all done. Oh, that looks nice. Okay, row 33. We're going to start with two bead stitches. Maybe get some beads down there. Well, that's one. Okay, that's two. All right, now we're going to work. We're gonna work our way over to our repeat. So two plain, three bead. Okay. That's one and two. Now three bead stitches. One, two, and three. Okay. Uh, we're going to work one plane, three bead, one plane. Okay, one plane. Three bead, there we go. That's one, two, 
and three, and then one plane. Okay. Now we're gonna work one bead, one plane, three bead. Okay, so one bead, one plane, and three bead. Whoop. One, two, and three. All right, now we're going to work one plain, three bead, two plain. Okay, so that's one plain, three beads. One, two, and three. Okay, and now we're going to work two plain, three bead, and two plain. One, two plain, three bead. So we're working this little diamond up now, right here. There we go. Okay, one. two, and three. So now we can look at our repeat because that was the end of the instructions. So now we can look at our repeat and see, we just worked that. Okay. So now we're going to disregard this. And our repeat, we just ended here. Now our repeat will begin right here with the three bead and just work all of that over and over to the end of the round. Okay, and here it is on the graph. All right, so I will see you all when we are ready for round 34. Just realizing I stopped at three bead, I didn't actually work the two plane that is asked for right here on the very end of the repeat, so I'll work that really quick. I'm like, wait a minute, where's the two plane? Oh, I, I didn't get there. <laughs> Okay, two plain. Now we start with three bead again. Okay, I will see you at row 34. Okay, finished round 33. Joined with a, I finished with one bead stitch at the end because we started with two, so that sort of filled in the center part of our little starting diamond here. So now round 34, we're going to start with a bead stitch to complete our diamond. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna work four plain. Okay, one, two, three, and four. And we're gonna work five beads, so we're working our way over to our repeat now. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and now we're going to work two plain one bead, two plain. Okay. One and two, one bead. And two plain, one. And two, 
Okay, now we're going to work five bead, four plain. So let's do that. Five bead, that's one, two, three, four. Let's get another bead down here. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four and five. And then four plain. One, two, three, and four. There we go. Now we're going to work one bead and four plain. Four plain. One. Two, three, and four. Okay. Let's look at our work. We're going to start the repeat now. Here is our first stitch, our bead stitch. This is the repeat here. So the repeat goes as we just worked our four plane. Now we're going to work five bead, two plain, one bead, two, pl two plain, five bead, four plain, one bead, four plain. And here it is for you. We just, oh, there we go. There's our four single crochet. We're gonna disregard these. There's our four plain, and then you just jump right up here. You go from here jump up here to the five bead and go from there. Okay, and here it is on the chart. Okay, so I will be back when we are ready to work row 35 and that is where I'm actually going to call it for this video uh, because this is going to be, my guess is about an hour long and then we will finish the rest and attach the metal top okay i will see you for round 35 and that will be our last round for this video okay now we're ready to begin round 35 there we go i just ended with four plain there and my chain one is a little bit too big okay for round 35 we're going to start with six plain One, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's make sure I didn't double any up. No, okay. Now we're going to work three bead. I don't have any beads ready. Okay, there we go. One. Two and three. Okay, we're going to work two plain, three bead, two plain. One, two plain, three bead, one, two and three and two plain, one, there 
bag two we're going to work three bead and eleven plain and that's the repeat so three bead one two and three then work 11 plain which i will do off camera and here is how that looks on the graph and here is let me mark up so this time around we are going to work the instructions given just after the start so we just we're going to work our 11 plain and then we're going to jump back up here and start working our three bead so if you can see here we have 11 plain three bead two plain three bead two plain three bead 11 plain <clears throat> excuse me i had to clear my throat and you can see that's represented right here three two three two three eleven three two three two three eleven so this time we will be working this portion so with this being the 35th row i'm going to go ahead and upload these clips edit them real quick and start filming our last video uh it should be just three videos for this our last video of this tutorial and then that will be it of course um i'll have to finish the rest of this off camera but oh this is really fun this is turning out great i'm not going to worry about lining mine i saw a lot of examples of bags that were both lined and unlined I'm not going to worry about lining this because I have no intention of putting anything in it that will fall through. And it's pretty doggone tough. It don't need a liner to help reinforce it or anything. Okay. Excuse me. I know my throat sounds really dry. Okay. So I will see you then in the last part of this tutorial. Love you guys lots and I will see you there. Bye.